this video is continued from part 1 now let us see what is the second example is now i am exiting as hemant user and there is another user we have created is mikhil let us log in as that user let us bring on the navigator once again set up financials flex fields validation values click here mikhil has no access to any of the value sets let us now go back to example 2 granting access to selective value sets to mikhil we want to give access to two value sets let us say first value set is operations account and the second value set is operations department so i am opening let us see what is the id of those value sets from the diagnostic so the value set id is this one 1002471 let us note the value set ids for which we want to grant the access another value set is operations account help diagnostic examine once again go to value set id the value set id is 1002472 let us note this also here let us exit this user and log in as sysadmin to grant the roles open the navigator by navigating to any form function and let us go to a responsibility functional developer query the object which controls the value sets flex field value set security object click on update the column name on this is flex value set id and we have to put a query on this particular column so let us create an instance set click on create and demo instance set for select value sets and let us give a code demo op2 v set let us copy this here and in the predicate we can give a query with these values and click on apply click on update once again see that your instance set appears demo instance set for select value sets and this is the code we have given 
once an instance set is created let us move on to create a role from user management okay let us create a role demo two sets display name demo two sets let us give the description also the same application objects library is the application and active date from long back onwards and save this let us query it again demo two sets let us update this role and create a grant for those two value sets let us call this as a grant with the same name click on next choose instance set here the instance set we have created on those two value sets is demo instance set for selective value sets next give the permissions if you want to give that just the read only permissions you can do that if you want to give insert update you can give that kind of permissions so let us give insert update permissions on those value sets and finish the role and grant has been created successfully click on apply now we have to attach this role to the user let us query the user mikhil click on update and assign the role that we have created just now demo two sets give a justification give an active date and click on apply now we have given mikhil the access to handle those two value sets so let us log in as mikhil and launch the navigator let us move on to flex field value set values form click on the list now you can see only those two value sets will appear in the list so mikhil can open one of these value sets and you can add edit the entries to the extent permitted by oracle so you can add the values here you can make changes in qualifiers descriptions etc so briefly that is the new functionality provided by oracle in terms of flex field value set security thank you bye bye